Hi, it's Gail with Gail Set and Living. So over here I have some hyacinth on the left, some zinnias, some basil, quite a few tomato plants. They're looking tall. I don't have any actual tomatoes yet. Lots and lots of tomatoes. And then I planted a couple of tomatillas down here on the end. Okay, I said I wanted these sunflowers over here that were volunteers to grow up over the fence. And they have officially reached that goal. So this one right here is taller than six foot. Okay, here is my highest sift vine growing up on the pole. My nasturtium. My jalapeno, I just picked one off of it and I got a couple more growing. There's a bunch of cayenne peppers on there, but you're supposed to wait for them to be red. Nothing coming up in the gray pot, but I did just plant that recently. We actually just had rain. Some zinnias, snapdragons, marigolds, amaranth, moss rose. There's some zinnias. There's my nasturtiums. I'm not sure what's in those two pots. I have some zinnias and some hyacinth in this one. This one is my kernel climber. As you can see, it is officially climbing. So it's doing well. And then this one, I believe, is a marigold and some zinnias in the front and a hyacinth on the right. And that one's growing up on the trellis. This is my pickling cucumber, and that is officially growing up on the trellis, but it has not bloomed. I don't have a cucumber on it yet. This toad is not doing that great. I mean, it's coming up, but it's not too great. So I got one loofah finally hitting the trellis. This loofah over here looks a little bit better. It's grown up that far. A few volunteer sunflowers up over here that came up on their own. I just let them grow. All right, the carrots are looking good in the baby pool. Now this is my Abe Lincoln tomato, single seed challenge. More carrots in the black trash can. Planted a new bucket of lettuce. This is a zucchini squash. Planted a few more lemon balm because I didn't think mine was gonna come up over there and then I had several come up right after that. These are my raised planters. Both of them have lettuce. They've been trying to go to seed for a while, so I finally let them go to seed. There's a squash I planted on the end here. Some amaranth. Same thing in that bed over there, but that squash is bigger because I planted that zucchini squash later in case I'll get some kind of a predator. I'll still get some zucchini. So I decided to plant it in five other places just to assure my chances of getting zucchini. Baby laying under the planter there. Okay, these are my volunteer sunflowers. I threw a couple of more seeds in there from You Grow Row and from the Indiana Backyard Gardener Seed Swap. There's Miley, looking pretty good and tall. Planted a few more, I did a little succession planting on them. That's a volunteer sunflower there. Strawberry tomatillas, tomatillas, sedium. More tomatillas. My hyacinth vine is growing up on this fence. This, I did a Google Earth search thing and it's saying that's a pepper. So we'll see what happens with that. It doesn't look like the other tomatilla. So maybe it is pepper that accidentally ended up in there somehow. Melly, Melly. Okay, I have some marigolds, some other flowers, uh, yellow squash down the end here. Marigolds in the middle, some butternut squash here. I believe this one is acorn squash. You see this butternut squash has grown all the way from its tire to this one. So we'll just leave it like that. Hopefully this is an acorn squash. My bachelor buttons are up. Several other flowers are up. My amaranth there. I have a bell pepper. 
And this is my pepper bed. It rained again today, so I'm going to try to put some more diatomaceous earth on stuff because you can see something's kind of eating on the leaves there. So this small raised bed uh, ended up being just a, a flower bed. So we'll see what all comes up there. I know I've got marigolds and zinnias and maybe one or two sunflowers. This is the other side of the tire garden. Parsley's looking good. I want to try to harvest that this week. Time is coming up slowly. Some marigolds there. See the parsley is flourishing. Oregano is coming up. Yeah, this is the, mary the butternut squash from over there. And I believe that one's uh, another butternut squash. This one right here, yellow squash. But those yellow squash are not getting very big, so I don't know what's going on with that. All right, this is my zucchini bed. And I have some marigolds in there. And I went ahead and moved the zinnia pot over there to give them some good pollination from bees and stuff. So lots and lots of zucchini. I even had to wrap the vine around here. Somehow a butternut squash ended up in the middle of the zucchini. Totally an accident. Don't know what happened there. Okay, I have regular tomatillas on this end. There's three in that one and then one there. Planned a fig seed there. We'll see if that comes up. Some zinnia seeds. I harvested my dill last week and it's now going to seed in several places so I'm just gonna let it do that and this is my lemon balm section several lemon balm there might be a few weeds mixed in there thought I would let them get up big enough I could tell that they were lemon balm that way I'm not pulling the wrong thing this is my ground cherries yay I did plant some mint here in the middle I don't know if it's gonna come up plant a birdhouse gourd here don't know if that's gonna come up or not but I'm sure it probably will later and I have to constantly weed this section because I don't have enough pine mulch for over here. Okay, so this is where I planted my hollyhock seeds. But when I pulled this up on the Google search, it came up that they were spore tomatoes. So now I'm beginning to wonder if they're tomatoes or hollyhock seeds. And how did tomatoes come up here? Because I've never planted tomatoes here before. And the seeds didn't look like tomato seeds. They actually look like something else, like hollyhock seeds. So who knows? Let me know what you think. Do you think this is tomatoes? Or do you think this is actually hollyhock? Get a close-up look there so you can let me know what you think. Okay, I have flowers planted down here and a zucchini on the left. And I have, these are the sunflowers from Grace and Fire. They are over the fence already. I would say they're at about a little over six foot. I mean about six and a half foot there because the fence is six foot. Two pumpkins and a hyacinth. Hyacinth here as well. All right, these are my giant pumpkins. They are coming up. Okay, this is the wild garden. I'm not sure what that is coming up there. I do know there's a sugar baby watermelon down there. And there and there. I have at least three sugar baby watermelon in here. A couple of things here. I don't know what they are. I don't know what these are. They would have to be some kind of pumpkin or gourd. Matter of fact, I think they might be those green bump, bumpy gourds from last year. So this is the sunflowers. They're huge. This is another shot of the sunflowers. I think these might be about eight foot tall. See how, see how tall they are? They're huge. Huge, huge, huge. From the bottom all the way up over the fence. The neighbors can officially see them now. Okay, this is one of my pepper beds. Some zinnias in the middle few peppers there and some on the other side just different mixed peppers bell peppers hot peppers mild peppers all kinds of peppers 